Hey, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. How about adding these characters to your holiday decorating? They're characters from Scandinavian folklore, stand about three feet tall, and help us celebrate the onset of the winter solstice and the holiday season. They're Scandinavian characters, a part of folklore. Some call them Tomt, T-O-M-T-E, or Nissa, N-I-S-S-E. I like to just look at them as garden gnomes, seeing I'm a garden guy. So to make these mythical creatures from folklore and Scandinavia, it's quite easy to do with just some components that you may have around the house or can easily find, including a tomato tower. They stand about three foot tall and so a tomato tower is ideal for creating the foundation or the structure that we're going to use to make these characters. Get yourself a little bit of chicken wire and you can see how I've wrapped that chicken wire right around this tomato tower. Then the next step that we're going to take is start to work the evergreen branches into that chicken wire. There's a variety of evergreen branches that you can use from pine to juniper to spruce. This one that I'm starting right here, I'm using spruce, but there's some white pine and juniper in this character and some uh, Austrian pine that I use to create this guy. Now one of the fun aspects of it is you can go to a secondhand store or a thrift store and find all kinds of hats for these characters too at this time of the year. I mean look at this floppy eared hat. This guy is fabulous. I call him Leif Erikson. And this guy right here. Now one of the things that we do with the hat, and I'm going to show you here, is that at the top of the tomato tower I've taken a styrofoam ball and I press that styrofoam ball onto the sharp points at the top. So we've taken a twist tie, let me grab a, uh, not a twist tie, but rather a zip tie, and I zip tied the top to hold the three prongs of the tomato tower together. Then I took the styrofoam ball and pressed that right into the top. Now what that's going to do is on a windy day, it's gonna give us a basis for this hat that we're gonna draw over top. And then what we're going to do with that hat is just get a basic pin. And that styrofoam ball is gonna hold that hat in place and we're just essentially going to pin that hat so it doesn't blow away on a windy day. Now the nose that was created for this character, again, there's lots of different types of things you can use. Obviously a styrofoam ball, on this one, I used a Christmas ornament on a stick. Or at a craft store, you can buy these snowballs. These are green bamboo garden stakes. We simply press that onto that stake because we're gonna push that right through the chicken wire to the other side. We're gonna zip tie that stake tightly onto the back of the tower here. Then we'll continue to work the evergreen branches into our character here. One of the things you can do also, here I used raffia, and I just took strands of raffia and wrapped it over the top of this character's nose, used once again a zip tie to hold it tight, and we put the raffia on there to create a beard for this guy. I think he needs a nice, uh, nice hairy beard, whereas this character, you can buy this fur in a craft store and I press that up underneath the nose, push the zip tie through, tie it tight, clip off the excess, and you don't even see it. We're gonna name him Spruce Springsteen. That one will be a hit in the neighborhood. This guy, I think, needs some mittens. So a simple tomato tower, wrap it in chicken wire, get yourself some evergreen boughs, a colorful hat, and you're well on your way to creating this mythical, fun, festive Scandinavian character. Ho, 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 and happy holidays, Merry Christmas from all your friends at Flowerland. Mm -hmm.